But the reality of it is, is that Islam is a protection. Islam is a protection. And I spent many years of my life running around naked when I thought I had protection. Whether it was a bodyguard, a gun, a knife, whatever I thought I had was going to protect me, I was actually naked the whole time. But for the mu'min, some of you who just raised your hands, born and raised Muslims, only by Allah's mercy, you came from the womb of a Muslim. So you've been protected before you even knew how to speak. Allah placed you in a safe place before you knew anything. You came from the womb of a Muslim. SubhanAllah. Your parents probably came from the womb of a Muslim. And so on and so on. But when you think about the brothers and sisters like myself, who was in darkness, completely lost, no idea, no clue of Islam, and Allah guides us into the fold of Islam, and the appreciation that we, 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 we establish, the appreciation that we endure for being saved from that darkness. And I look at my brothers and sisters in Islam who were born and raised Muslims, and I say to myself sometimes, how? How could you compromise the safety that's been bestowed upon you since birth to put yourself in a position where we just left? Put yourself in a position that I just left. Every night I did a show, I put myself in danger. Y'all read some of these things. Fights break out in the club, someone gets stabbed. 16 year old girl don't even belong there, fake ID. Someone slips her a date rape drug and she gets molested or raped. This was something that I was exposed to after every show. And you know what? I never wanted to be responsible for it because I felt like my songs was commercial. I wasn't out there talking, you know, about killing everybody on the song. I never made derogatory songs or derogatory statements towards women. I thought that I took the most commercial approach to dealing with the music business, but it never allowed me to escape from the ills that came with the game. You can't have one without the other. You can sit there and, and smooth it out as much as you want but I still had to watch people get dragged out of clubs from being stabbed. I still watched people in parking lots get shot. I still watched young girls making up their face to be older than they are and finding themselves in situations where they may have never ever encountered any type of physical relationship with no men. And the first time it happened, next time they find out they're HIV positive. This is what Islam has protected you from. This is what Islam has protected you from. So who are you to remove this shield from yourself? To place yourself in harm's way? To dive in the arms of the shaitan? SubhanAllah.